Hi, this is Ant Minor Repair, and tonight we're going to look at the second part of me trying to fix the pads on an S17 Pro board that, that really got fried with heat. Um, basically, this chip um, shorted, drew too much electricity, burned up the leads, and, um, and um, fried the leads. It got so hot that they actually burned up. So what I've done here in, in the first part of this video, there's another video on my site. Um, I tried doing this and I tried gluing the leads down with some of my uh, solder resist. You can see a little bit of it here. And that didn't work. So um, instead of doing a bunch of stuff on my video, I want to show you my, my end result. And my end result was I got it on there. And so I want to explain how I did. Um, this is pretty close. This guy's a little short. I can probably bring him up a little bit where he needs to be. And I need to fill in, I kind of dug underneath here out, so there needs to be some solder resist out here. But these guys are replaced, and um, essentially the trick is, is when you graph the lead, take them from clear back here, and then clean off the lead, and then solder them clear back here, and then deal with them. And then, um, this is by no means done. Um, this will look a lot nicer after I put, you know, the green stuff on top and, and embed them. It's really important how I put the green stuff in there. Um, just so they're stable when I put a chip down and equal height is these guys right here so right now they're very flexible because there's kind of like a gaping hole down here so if you like this content please subscribe to my channel um, also if you're into fixing hash boards or wondering what's wrong with your miner um, a lot of people on our discord channel which will be in the description of this video um, can probably help you um, it's a great place to learn how to work on these things if you're mining so, and the other thing is, um, there is a bell there if you want to be notified when I produce new videos. That's great. You can do that. But, but um, let me take you back. I, I have a donor board, an S17 Pro board that was just completely burned out. And uh, I, I've borrowed the leads off of that. I got some decent sandpaper. I got some like 400 grit sandpaper. I'll take you through the process right now. And I'm not going to leave my microscope, so I'm just going to move the board. But I'll show you where I grafted this from. Uh, I think it's this guy. Let me move him out of the way for you. Okay, let's see if we can get my finger in the shot here. La la la. Sorry, making you seasick here. Uh, where is my finger? Boy, this is way off here. Way over there. Okay, I got it. Let's move him over. Okay. So, to get those two leads, what I did was I took some sandpaper and I sanded off the green solder resist on, uh, made sure I did a really good job of where I was grafting from. This one's a good job right here. And I had two other ones, this one and this one. So basically I, I grafted, I, I sanded them off so that at least they're clean on top. Um, I left a little bit of green down here on them. So about down to here, back. This one's a little tight because it's not very long, but it went to this pad right here. This one went to this pad too. Don't think it's a good idea to take it and the pad, but um, I, I took a knife and I just sliced it right here and I cut it. I cut it until it was loose and then I took this needle actually and, and dug it out of there and then tried to keep it as straight and formed as I could. So I, so I pulled them off this old, this old socket. So I have a lot of, lot of places I could graph them, but I actually took the exact leads that burned and I pulled them off here and then Go back to the board that's half fixed, that i am still got a little more work to do. See, I'm going to switch orientation probably on you, but let's see. And then what I did, and it, it, it wouldn't have looked pretty on video, trust me. Um, before I did this, I also sanded these guys as far as I had them. So one was over here, and one was nah, maybe back over here. I think this one was really short. This one was really long. So I took... I took it, um, put some flux down, I tinned the top of it so it so it have some solder. And then basically, <laughs> I put this guy down there and I held this end down with a needle and then fiddled with this with the tip of my soldering iron and some solder on the soldering iron until I got it to take. Um, not real pretty. I'll probably get better as I do more. But um, I've already checked continuity. This guy is connected to this pad, which is that capacitor. This guy is connected to this pad, which is this capacitor. So I've got a good take. 
The trick now is just to get these guys set up to where they're sitting up like they are. This guy's just a touch shorter. Um, I can move him forward or, or manipulate him, but I've got to get it, you know, basically just right and make sure they're up at the same level. Um, I think they're a little low right now, so what I'm going to do is probably lift them up, fill it in, bend the back. See, these guys came riding on top of the wire and then pointed down, so I'll probably go back here and bend this wire just up so they set up a little bit. I'd rather set the chip down and push it down um, than anything. So anyway, I wanted to show you how far I got on this. This is just going to be a short video. And uh, my next step is to very carefully probably fill in the hole down underneath these guys with some of the solder resist. I am going to have to lift these guys up a little bit. And hopefully I'll get it right to where I, I feel happy about. Um, see, these are already tinned and these aren't right here. So hopefully I'll feel right about the height. And then I'll, I'll really cement them in all the way back with solder resist so they're tight. You give them plenty of support on the bottom and then I'll, I'll, I'll stick it on there. And then I will prepare the rest of the surface and try to put a chip on there. So anyway, um, short video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for your comments on the last one. Um, you guys didn't penalize me for not being able to finish what I was doing. It just wasn't working. So I just said, well... I'm not going to sit here and struggle on video. So someday, um, I, I do have some other ones of these S17 boards. They have various problems. So we're going to look at some other burnouts. So I'm probably, probably going to have to become an expert in S17 Pro burnouts because it seems to really be common. So thank you. Have, have a great, great day or evening, whatever time zone you're in. And uh, thank you if you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification. You can leave comments and join our Discord. Yeah, the link is on the comments. Thank you very much.